Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to flash the onboard SAS for the X8DT6-F and also the Gigabyte, uh, geez, I forget the model number, but this will apply to, I would say, 99% of the onboard SAS 2 adapters that use the LSI SAS 2008 controller. Um, we can actually download all the files that we need from the same uh, from the same place, so we're going to use the x8dt6-f uh, downloads. So we just search it in here in Google. Go right to Supermicro's site. You want to hit download the latest drivers and utilities. And we're going to select Microsoft. And then make sure you use Windows 7. Otherwise, the SAS uh, drivers won't show up. And then we're going to select SAS. Hit Submit. And what we want is the LSI 2008 firmware IT mode. Go ahead and download it. Accept. And then once you're here, you want to click on IT. And then you want the PH20.0.4 IT.zip. I've already downloaded it a few times. Go ahead and open it. And navigate to the DOS folder and you're left with everything here. Now you want to open up uh, Rufus, and I'll leave a link to that in the, in the description of this video, and you need a tiny flash drive. I, one gig should be fine, uh, but I've got an eight gig here, and you can use the options uh, that I have set here. This is just the name of it, but we're gonna do uh, FreeDOS for boot selection. I named it FreeDOS. FAT32, cluster size is fine. Uh, and there's really no other options, so we just hit start. It's gonna erase everything on the drive. So I'm gonna open the folder. Hopefully. All right, and um, we're just gonna dump the contents of this into that folder. And uh, that's all you have to do on this part, and we can eject the drive now. Uh, I'm just gonna pull it because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert it into our motherboard and then um, remove, make sure you remove all of the drives, like uh, hard drives, solid state drives, unplug all of them from the motherboard. And we're going to boot into uh, the DOS, and then I'll take you from there. So just going to be a quick cut, and I'll see you in the next part. Before I get to the next part of the video, I want to show you my setup. Um, I'm just running the Gigabyte board, the dual 1366 board, uh, $145 NAS killer version 2. Um, just sitting in here on the bench, got everything wired up. I'm using a uh, 8400GS to output to the TV and a couple fans just to keep things cool enough where I can uh, do what I need to do, test what I need to test. And uh, I'm running a UPS splitter, 650 watt power supply, and 6 2 gig 6 of RAM with dual E5620s. And all I'm going to do is take my uh, flash drive, plug this guy in. And since it's already booting, I'm just going to re reboot it and let it boot to the to the uh, flash drive on its own. And for all of these onboard SAS controllers, you're going to need the SAS2 address, which is printed on the motherboard. And it usually starts with 500. And on this particular board, it is located underneath the main PCI Express slot down here. So it's a little bit hard to get to. Uh, I know some of the other ones are printed on the SAS ports themselves, but you will need that address, and um, I will cover that once we get to the flashing. So now, finally, we're, on, we're gonna flash it. So I've got the motherboard booting up here, and this whole process should just take a few minutes. Um, we'll just see what happens, and uh, just a couple commands, so. Just does a quick memory check and make sure it's detecting all the all the RAM and 
12 gig was detected. So I already flashed this one. It's going to show LSI SAS 2008 IT mode. Um, but this one actually came flashed in version 7, uh, version P7 IR mode, which is integrated RAID. Um, so we're going to flash it to P20, which is the latest IT mode. So you're left uh, with C colon slash, and what we need to do is type in SMC 2008T.bat. And this is going to start to erase the flash region. And it should also update the BIOS and reflash it. So this will take care of not just updating, but completely erasing it. So it doesn't matter what mode you start out with, it'll put you in the correct mode. says adapter successfully reset beginning firmware download resetting adapter attempting to flash bios verifying Bias successful. I'm not sure why it flashes the BIOS twice, because it says it's basically the same thing twice. Um, I don't know if that's a bug or something I'm doing incorrectly, but this method's worked every time, so uh, I honestly wouldn't worry about it too much. Or maybe it's just using the same terminology for two different operations. And now it's going to say, uh, enter the, the remaining nine digits for the SAS address, which are the last nine. It's kind of worded oddly. But in this case, it is 000-1531-F0. So 000-1531-F0. And then enter. And this is, this is the part that differs a little bit from flashing a external LSI SAS card. Um, so it's complete, and it just leaves you back at the command line, and we're going to press Control alt delete and that'll restart our system. And I believe Control-C will let us get into the LSI BIOS uh, once we get to that part, and we can just verify that it's in P20 IT mode. Here's the uh, SAS BIOS. The beeping you hear is me pressing a button. It's not the system doing something. I'm trying to, there we go. Okay, so control C was the, the command to get in here. And so you see we have LSI 2008-IT, uh, firmware revision 20.00.04 IT, and status is enabled, and that's all we needed to see. So it's super simple to flash the onboard SAS. Um, it's one extra step basically from flashing a uh, external SAS adapter. And um, yeah, so if you need to learn how to flash an external SAS adapter, I've got a video for that. Um, and just to close out the video, I guess that's about it. Um, 
this should go for like I said before any LSI SAS 2008 adapter on board so that includes socket 1366 1156 1155 2011 all that so if you have any questions uh, hit me up in the comments or ask around on discord and I'll see you guys next time